It's obvious to everyone what men's clothing is and what women's clothing is. Deep down inside, you know it. Deep down inside, you know it. You want to fight against it. You want to wear what you want to wear. Where does that come from? A stubborn and rebellious attitude. That's where it comes from. No one can tell me what to wear. We went to the park yesterday. We met up at a park. We went inside the building to use the bathroom and there wasn't a sign that said men or women on either bathroom. There was a sign of a picture of a man that was wearing pants and a woman wearing a skirt. That's how you know which bathroom to use. Do you think it'd be okay if a woman said, hey, you know what? Hey, I'm wearing pants. I'm going to go use this one because it's got a sign of someone wearing a pants. Now, funny how you still know which one is men's and which one is women's. But I'm the crazy one. Now, a lot of people will say, well, who cares? God doesn't care what I wear. Except we just read Deuteronomy 22.5. You got to do something with it. So I mentioned earlier, even the abominable trans community knows. Yep. Yep. They know. They know what's men's clothing and they know what's, what's women's clothing. They don't even want to tell you what a man and a woman is, but they sure do know what the clothing is. Right. <laughs> We're talking about wearing the pants. The Bible actually does talk about men wearing pants. They don't call them pants. That's what we call them, right? But breeches. Breeches is what the word is, but it's what we commonly refer to as britches. You know, someone getting too big for their britches. 